Welcome to Church Media Production. I'm Andrew. Today we're going to look at adding a stage display timer inside of ProPresenter. So let's get started. To get your stage display timer up, the first thing you want to do if you don't have it already is get the timer in your toolbar. It's just the easiest way to get to it. So if you right click, go to customize toolbar, and then find you have um, clocks. So drag that up here, just wherever you want it, it doesn't really matter. And then go ahead and click clocks, and then you're gonna wanna make sure you have your clock. So if you double click into it, you can call it whatever, like time left or something. And then you can go ahead and set your duration. I usually have overrun turned on, that way when it gets past the time, it starts counting in negative, so that way whoever's talking can see. Hey, I should probably wrap it up. And then you wanna hit this little button here to restart it, if it hasn't already, and then go ahead and hit start, and that will actually start the timer. But we don't necessarily need that right this second, so we're gonna go ahead and go into ProPresenter, Preferences, Display, and then Configure Stage Display. And this is where you can actually set what is shown on the stage display but we don't need any of the slide notes, so we're gonna go ahead and uncheck those. We don't need the chord charts. We don't need the message right now. We don't need, we want borders and labels and flash color, that's fine. Um, the clock you can have on if you want. You don't need it on. Video countdown, we're not gonna need. And then our timer here is called time left, so we're gonna go ahead and check that to turn that on, and you can see right now it is actually counting down. So what you might want to do then is go ahead and take your slides, kind of size them up so you can actually see what's on them, or whoever's talking can see what's on them, I should say. And then your timer here, you can go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. So that way they can actually see it from far away. And then the clock, we can make it bigger too, so that way they can see that the clock, or see what time it is. And that's all you need to do to actually configure the stage display. And the timer is here counting down for you. And then they can see what the current slide is, what the next slide is gonna be. So if you exit out of that, and then you go in here to actually turn it on, you just have to enable stage display. Right now it's gonna take over my main, my main screen because that's the only one that's on, but this is what it would look like when you have it set to another display. So we had an exit out of that. And if you wanna change which display it is, you just kinda of click the stage display, drag it to the other screen and that will switch it for you. And that's all you need to do. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give us a like, leave us a comment, hit the subscribe button, follow by the bell icon, and we will see you next time.